welcome to the show studio. So I've been using scraps and creating some cards and um, using cardstock and envelopes that I've found at Michaels and Hobby Lobby on clearance. I want something to put them in. So I was thinking, and then eventually this may end up in my Etsy store, I don't know. But I was thinking I wanted to make a container to put them in. So what I do is I measure the envelope and make it just slightly, like even like an eighth of an inch and possibly not even that bigger just so that when it's folded, the when you fold the box, you're not crushing the envelopes. Does that make sense? And I measure how thick they are to get the thickness and um, Sorry, I don't have a great template for you, but that is my prototype, and this is my little drawing. I don't know where I put that, but um, I created it and cut it out and creased it, and now I'm going to decorate it. And the design for this, you saw one of the cards I paused on um, was similar. Plus, I did a birthday card with a similar sort of idea with this um, painted deli paper as little torn out flowers. And so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to decorate this and then I'm going to glue it all together. Um, if you really want the template, I mean, because it depends on the size of the envelopes, um, I could give you the template if I can find it. Um, maybe I'll put it as a photo in my Facebook group and then you can find it there. There we go. We'll do that. Um, so if you want an idea of how I created it, I'll put it out there for you. But, um, here I'm just making a decoration for the outside cover before I fold it up. And I have a couple more stacks of cards. So this one, I think there was just five cards. And um, so I've got five cards per little box. And you know, this could be a good gift to give to somebody for Christmas. So that's an idea. If you wanted to make some cards out of your leftover painty papers and um, create a little box for that. Um, yeah, I think it's a good idea. All right, that's probably what I'll do is make Christmas presents. Or they might end up in Etsy. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I really haven't done much with my Etsy store. I have a few digital things out there. Um, but I don't have a printer. I'm a little nervous about shipping stuff to people. So I haven't figured out how I would do that. <laughs> I know that sounds lame. If you guys have ideas or any helpful hints, you know, I'm all ears or eyes. I'll read it if you put it in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just doodling some stems on these little sort of abstract flowers. And then making some windy little vine looking things instead of leaves. I don't think I put leaves on them at all. Just the twisty viney part. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally, okay, all the people on my Christmas list are getting these for Christmas. <laughs> and you can do it too, because that was super simple, and I promise you the pattern isn't that difficult either. Alright. So now I'm just folding everything together and gluing it together. I didn't make you watch that. And we're going to put them in to see if they fit. They fit in the prototype, so they should fit in this, right? There we go. And I think a little Velcro flap, you know, Velcro on there would hold that closed. So there we go. Quick little video. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please hit like, feel free to share, comment, and if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.